Hi guys, we're going to look at cabling and data transfer speeds. It's a very short introduction and very basic. We're just looking at what kinds of cables there are and what sort of speeds do we get out of them. So let's get started. We have the STP slash UTP Ethernet cable. So that's two kinds of Ethernet cables. You've probably seen these, okay, if you're in a classroom or a work somewhere and you look at the back of a computer or the side of a laptop perhaps and you look at the cable that's coming out it's probably more than likely something like this. So what is an STP Ethernet cable or a UTP Ethernet cable? Now have a look at the picture, okay? That is an STP Ethernet cable. That is a UTP Ethernet cable. Did you see the difference between them? UTP stands for unshielded twisted pair, okay? Unshielded means that it hasn't got a shield around it and it's pairs that have been twisted together, okay? That's unshielded twisted pair. Then we have the shielded twisted pair, looks like that, and that you can see, twisted pairs, okay, the pairs of, of wire are twisted around each other, and there's a shield, like a very special shield around them to protect them from uh, elect electromagnetic interference and things like that. So very important to know the difference between those two types of cables. They're both for Ethernet cabling in a, in a business or a local area network. If you want to find out more about these cables, there's a QR code, scan it and go check it out, okay? Okay, let's look at the speeds of these cables. Now, your fast Ethernet, okay, what we call fast Ethernet, is typically 100 megabits per second. That equates to about 600 megabytes per minute. Not bad. Then we have gigabit Ethernet, which is really, really nice. That is 1,000 megabits per second. So that's like downloading stuff at 6 gigabytes per minute. Like, thank you very much. And it gets better, 10 gigabit Ethernet. 10,000 megabits per second, and that's like 60 gigs in 60 seconds. Imagine, imagine, <laughs> that is insane. So there you go, Ethernet cables. That's why, if you had to ask yourself, like, why aren't we just wireless? Why, is, why aren't all our networks just wireless? It's because the cables still give us the best speed right now, okay, in terms of data transfer, okay. Here we have a coaxial cable. Now, the coaxial cable is used a lot with media, televisions, that sort of stuff. I don't really see a lot of coaxial cables around, but then again, I'm not really into the networking side of businesses, am I? So let's see, the transmission speed of a coaxial cable is about 10 megabits per second, right? And that's pretty much all you need to know. Okay, guys, we're not going to go like out and ask you, like, define the absolute essentials about a coaxial cable setup. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. Right. Fiber optic cables, the new thing. Everybody's on about fiber. Fiber, fiber, fiber. Yes, of course. Why? Because fiber is very fast. Okay. In terms of data speeds, your fiber can reach speeds of up to 940 megabits per second. That's very fast. But these are like cables and data transfer, okay. Actual fiber optics obviously transfer at much higher rates than you can even imagine because it's it's like the speed of light. It's transferring light pulses. But there you go. So that's fiber optic cables. There's an example of a typical line or a pipe full of different fiber optic cables there. So all of those is an individual cable. And you know what? That's really big looking at it now. But if you had to look at a cable in real life, it is teeny, guys, like in terms of its thickness, okay? It is so thin. It's amazing, the technology that we have. And it transfers um, stuff so fast. It's incredible. So have a look. There's a QR code for you to scan if you want to know more. Go ahead and check it out. But there you go, guys. Those are the different types of cables that we get and the kinds of speeds of data that we can expect from them.